I don't know about many people that fly the AR drones, but you're probably familiar with this little piece of hardware. It holds on this. It holds the prop shaft. Well, I had a problem earlier. I was flying it indoors, and all of a sudden, a propeller and gear just went flying off. So I went to looking for the E-clip, which you see how small it is, and I could not find it. So I came up with a very ingenious idea of a very easy way to fix it. Get a hairpin clip. And there's a process you have to go through in doing this. Okay, you put it on here. Now we don't use the center. We get it on there. And we take something sturdy because it's decently, you gotta push it through there decently to get it to the next side. See? It's on there like that. Now you take it. Yeah, it, you can fly it like this. I've already done it earlier, but this can be found at Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Ace Hardware, and basically all you do now is you take a pair of wire cutters, so squeeze it together. And cut off the extra it's a little hard but you'll get it see and when you cut off the extra you actually have a ring all the way around holding it on so you don't have to worry about that e-clip coming off and all you do to take it off, I'm not going to because I've already wasted one, but remember, 20 of these, 20 of these Eclipse, seven dollars, 26 cents. But all you do to take it off is you just get up under it with something, and you start at one side and you just slowly bend it off all the way around the shaft but as you can see I mean I'm pulling on this it is not coming off and I'll even show a flight just so y'all see that I ain't doing nothing the camera's staying on it both back sides actually done. You can see both back sides, that side, and this side over here have that done. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, seeing that the phone that I'm taking the video on <laughs> is my main phone, and I'm trying to use my girlfriend's phone, but I have my AR drone paired to my phone. I'm trying, though. Wait. Maybe it'll work for me.
semi-late Jurassic period. Yeah, here we go. But as you can see, we can handle the RPMs. 26 cents compared to $3. I mean $7 for 20 of those things. And I believe more reliable because instead of having an open end, you have a complete closed circle except for where you cut it off. And one more extra thing. When it comes to breaking a foot, landing gear. Best thing is do not just glue the joint back in place. Take a good epoxy. This is a good two ton epoxy. I put the epoxy over the brake first. Then I put a nail and I glued it in place. So in order for this to fail again, not only will it have to fail at the crack, but it'll also have to fail at the nail, which is steel, which as long as the glue doesn't fail, the nail will not fail. And you can see that's on both sides. I broke this foot and I put it back on. I tried super glue first, then I tried epoxy by itself, and then I tried this. This thing is taking a fall from 20, about 25 feet onto its feet, and it's fine. That's why pretty much every one of mine wobbles. I'm going to have to buy some new props and, uh, new props and, uh, pin shafts, propeller shafts, but... And that right there shows you 26 cents for a very cheap way and easy.